right, PML fans. Now it's time to talk about Coach Zach of the Florida Freedom Fighters. He is a tremendous BGC battler, and he is putting his hat in the ring once again. Uh, after two failed attempts of not winning, he's he's determined to win this one. And he drafted a great team in Dragapult, Oregon, to Volcarona, Milotic, Toros, Frostlass, Gardevoir, Politoed, Scrappy, and Garchomp. Yeah, so this team's really, really good. And um, sort of giving a bit of an insight into how he operates. He, um, we've already we've already battled in our week, and uh, we've got absolutely. I got my, I got, I got served. It was it was a, it was a demolition. Um, but he's, what he's drafted is a very, very strong team. It's got we can work in a number of different ways. You can go fast. You can go slower. He's got a lot of redirection. He can pick them. He's, he can pick up on. Um, he's very good at reading switches. Um, you know, there's Pokemon in there that can just punch holes. Um, but in terms of you know the bulk, let's just start with the bulk. Um, you know, the Pokemon in there, Porygon two, um, Milotic, um, uh, Scrappy, Garchomp. Those are really, really quite bulky Pokemon. Even though it yeah. sells. Um, Scrafty can be bulky, providing that intimidate support um, as well. It's just a very, very bulky team. We gave him a nine. Yeah, I went with a nine as well. The first thing I wrote down for this team, I said if there's a team that appears even more busted than Jesse's, it's this one. Um, P2 and Melodic have got the defensive side locked down. Volcaronic and Sponge Hits, you know, if it's built bulky, even Rock Slides aren't going to kill it, despite, despite it being four times effective. Um, you just, yeah, it's a, th it's a threat bulk wise. That's not even talking about, we're not even to the wall breakers yet, but bulk wise, it's a problem. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> the big thing is one of his biggest walls is Milotic, and in doubles, you really rely on uh, swapping in intimidators and stuff like that, dropping stats. And you drop a stat on a Milotic, it, you're asking for trouble because of that competitive boost to get. Hundred percent. I went ahead and gave this team a nine as well. Yeah, I gave it a nine. Did I say that already? Probably did. Ah. All right. Next one, we got the speed tier. So um, I smashed this with another nine. Um, pretty much any team with Dragapult in it is going to have the speed control. It's one of the fastest in the whole format. Um, it's a scary prospect in doubles. I used it last season. Uh, the mistake I made with it was that I didn't make it my max captain from the start. Um, this season we don't have max captains, anything can max. So um, he can use that however he wants to. Um, yeah, Frostless, speedy. Everything else doesn't need to be speedy. Cartron can be speedy if it wants to. Yeah, nine. I gave him an eight, and I think the only reason why I gave him an eight is um, I feel like, and obviously I'm nowhere near as qualified to talk about doubles as as Zach. So he's obviously got he obviously knows more about this format than I do. But I just feel like he he could be, he would benefit from having a swift swimmer. Like I feel like Politoed is just sort of sits there. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm just doesn't have to... Hey, sorry. I was just going to say, in Synergy, I was going to talk about that, but the yeah, Politoed does seem redundant. I agree. I just, yeah, either move Politoed on to something faster or, or bring something in to, to complement the, the, the rain that it brings. Um, I'm not even sure what its other ability is, if, whether that would be of any better use for it. Um, is it damp? Does it get damp? Yeah, I think so. I think it might I feel be like damp, yeah. Um, in that sense, uh, could run water a absorb. Damp. He could run damp with like a suicide lead one week with a self destruct. It wouldn't affect it. Potentially, he's got water absorb too, which is um, which is handy. <laughs> Probably better. Yeah, than heal up. Yeah. <laughs> heal up his own mind. Could be uh, so... could be a surf and um, polytoed combo. And uh, for speed. Yeah, I'll make. Uh, 
I gave him a nine. He does have great uh, speed on his team in the slower mines. He has Porygon to take advantage of being able to swap that speed around and make them faster. Um, so for wall breaking, for wall breaking, I gave him a nine um, because he's got. Actually, no, I'm going to go. I'm going to change. I'm going to change to a ten because Dragapult is absolutely busted in this format. Um, I remember when I was doing my prep for this week, I had a look at Dragapult and looked up Dragon Darts in particular. Um, and Dragon Darts works in such a way that no matter where, what, no, no matter what happens. Dragon Darts will hit twice. Um, so if you if you have one Pokemon that's protecting, because so normally but normally doubles Dragon Darts just hit one hits hits both one one Dart on one Pokemon, one Dart on the other Pokemon. But if one Pokemon's protecting, it actually redirects and two Darts hit the same Pokemon. Oh wow! Yeah, busted. That is busted. I didn't know that. <laughs> it, it that is, is busted. Is, if you add a Choice Band to Dragapult and running Jolly, that is really really like potent in any format because like you could think you'd be thinking okay i'm going to protect this turn and, and i'm going to try and you know use earthquake or surf or something or, or something and then suddenly you your pokemon's protecting is, is actually alive but you have things down um tauros has got a lot of power behind it cross last as well um can can get quite good attacks off especially with um shadow ball um Fast Disney Bond. Hey. Fast Disney Bond as well. Yep. Um, Garchomp as well. Um, the Garchomp is it's, the Garchomp's the king of like both singles and doubles for a reason. It's he is a big, big threat. Um, so yeah, ten for wall breaking. He is not. Uh, Zach is not here to play around this time around. He is here to win championships. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I'm going to go with the 10 for all the reasons you said. And just because not only does he has just pure power coming out the gate, a lot of his Pokemon can easily set up in front of other teams, depending on his uh, team synergy he decides to bring for that week. And it, it can get out of hand in multiple ways. Yeah, I gave him a 9. Dang. Stuart, you don't think he deserved a 10? <laughs> Bruh, no, no one gets a 10. Nobody's no perfect. <laughs> oh, except, my, except my team, of course. That's 10s across the board. Just kidding. <laughs> well, we'll no, get across yours in a minute. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, All right. that, that brings us to recovery and support. And he's got a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Porygon 2 naturally can recover. Um, Melodic can also naturally recover. Um, Volcarona with the Giga Drains, Gardevoir with the Draining Pierces, if, it, if that's what it chooses to bring. Like, some of these moves, like, are obviously... Uh, can't, uh, there's limited capability for them to actually bring it. But there's, there's that potential there, which is always handy. Um, well, I mean, Gard Gardevoir gets Heal Pulse too, which is, you know, underrated in this format. Yeah, that's true. And Scrafty with the Drain Punches, too, would be handy. Um, so he's got a lot of recovery options um, in terms of support. Um, he's got he's got good support. Uh, you know, Milotech's got Hypnosis, how he chooses to bring... <laughs> yeah. Uh, how he um, manages to get past the accuracy drops on... Hypnosis is not for me to talk about. Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'll let. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that one as a trade secret for for Zach. Yeah, but, it, it, but it's a timely reminder that Milotic has hypnosis, um, and you know Frostlass has got Destiny Bond. You're just gonna make sure he's not actually trying to Destiny Bond a Dynamax Pokemon. Um, and Polito's got rain, but nothing to use. So I use it. So I think you know, probably a Nate. Mm -hmm. uh, back to Milotic real quick. Uh, all I gotta say is you better throat chop that phone bitch right there. 
Because if not, your team's not going to have a good time. Uh, but uh, for support and recovery, I'm giving him a 9. Uh, Oregon is his bulk of support in uh, Trick Room, Screen, stuff like that. But he does have other Pokemon that can do that too. And also, I think Gardevoir can wish pass. And certain things like that. So, uh, I, I like the way his team is built. I'm going to give it a 9. Yeah, I think Paragon's with, Paragon and Milotic together are worth an 8. And then you give one for everyone else, so that's a 9 for me. <laughs> and still with no 10s for Stuart, uh, for the Florida uh, Freedom Fighters. I'm sure it'll come one day. Um, but that brings us to Team Synergy. Yeah, he's team works well, together really, really well. Yeah. I mean, you look at it and you think, oh, Double Dragon, Double Ghost. But actually, overall, it's got great type coverage. I mean, knockoff might be annoying for the team, but, you know, Zach's one of the best battlers in the league, so I'm sure he'll mitigate any weaknesses he has quite think... adequately. I feel like it's a misconception that if you have multiple types or multiple of the same types, that it's going to be a problem or a bad team. I think hmm. it invites certain pressure, but like if you bring, um, if you're drafting like three or four of the same type, even like it's just you, you're inviting that kind of pressure, but you know that that's coming. So I think there's a yeah. different type. Of, I think it's a bit of a misconception that if you have the same. Um, a lot of the same types. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be problems. Just how you manage it in game. It's <laughs> what moves are available. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've been in that mindset where it's better to have multiple typing, so they don't overlap. But then, uh, looking at draft more than like more most of the time when you have uh, those diverse typings, you're normally stuck bringing a specific mon to stop a specific thing, and that could be e easily exploited. So maybe having multiple types is too bad. Well, especially if you have multiple, doubles. Like, yeah. If you have, if you have two Pokemon doing the same thing, so if you have, you know, say two dark types, one does the physical attacking, one does special attacking, you, you still got the same coverage for like in terms of defense, but you've got different options to attack. Mm -hmm. It's just for team selection, it's, it's a bit better. Um, yeah. In saying that, I think the one exception, or one of the exceptions, is when when teams are knockoff weak, because knockoff is such a good move. Um, like, mm. yes, you can't knock you can't knock off both Pokemon at once, but you know, a, a Pokemon like Pouring On Two needs its Eviolite. Um, Dragapult, you know, gets rocked by knockoffs unless it's max HP or some other rubbish. But yeah, I don't. It's one of those things where I guess if in the right hands, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm. Well, I like it, the team, and I'm going to end it with a 9. I'll give you a guess what I put. A 10. Nine. I give him a 9. Um, spoilers, oh, though, this is, my number one, this is my number one team. This is my number one team. 45 out of 50. So, uh, congrats, Jack, uh, Jack Zach. Um, <laughs> you are the Jack of all trades. And, uh, yeah, I... I, I wrote right the interior said this team will definitely be around at the thin end of the competition. So we'll see him there, hopefully. A perfect score from Stu. Um, and I also ended up with a nine as well. Alright. And I didn't add mine up, so So I gave him a forty six of fifty. Uh Stuart gave him a forty five of fifty. I think I gave him forty four. I don't know, that's rough. That is rough. <laughs> <laughs> and you give him a 10. Yikes. All right, guys. Well, that is Zach's team and possibly the next champion of the doubles league. Yeah, I have to, I have to take that on, take that, my score on notice because um, I, can't, I didn't actually write it down. I should have actually written it down. Their final score. 